Today, we are going to customize a jigsaw puzzle. I have been in a customization slash experimental mood lately, and I think it would be really fun to customize this. I think I got this at Michael's, if I remember right. It's from the Createology brand. So let's paint a picture on this, and then we can have a puzzle with whatever we want on it. Oh, I'm feeling something weird today, so. I haven't customized a puzzle on my channel in a couple years now. So this isn't like something new. I've done it before. A lot of people have done this by now, but I saw these at the store and I just, I knew I wanted to do it again. Whoa. It smells like burnt wood. Look at this beautiful puzzle. So I wonder if I should just keep the edge on here for now. Wait, what is this? Do I peel that off? Or do I just keep it until it's painted? I'm just gonna keep it for now. I'm not gonna take it apart until we do stuff. <sighs> so now I need to decide what art supplies to use because we have so many choices. I think I just want to get a base coat down and then we can go from there. So should I be obnoxious and do like super bright pink or should I do this? We'll go with this first. This is probably gonna seem weird, but just bear with me, it will turn into something, okay? <laughs> oh, this feels so satisfying. has been covered. Palette is at the ready. So I think I wanna to try to do folk art meets impressionism for another greenhouse. And we'll just see how this goes. I have no idea where I'm taking this, but I'm in my experimental phase of the year, which means we can do brave things. We can mess up, we can do whatever we want because this is our time to learn and experiment. And I like this. It's a way to just explore and have fun as an artist. So let's go. Okay, first things first, we need to do like the little poles on the greenhouse. So I'm gonna take some magenta and some phthalo blue, tiny bit of white, just a bit. We want a bright purple color like that. Now I'm just gonna sketch out the greenhouse and I don't know what I wanna do. I'm just gonna freehand it because we're experimenting. <laughs> oh, I think I want some fancy Victorian top. I don't know, do we want a dome thing? I guess we do, because that's what we just did. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be perfect, because there's gonna be a ton of layers. this phthalo green color and just do little dots of green in with this too. Kind of hard to see, but I think it'll look cool. Let's fill the greenhouse. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need a doorknob. How are we gonna get in? I think I actually wanna make the bottom more bold than the top too. Ooh, yeah, that offsets it nicely. Boom. Now for some plants. I will do a flower pot here, another flower pot here. Now I'm gonna do some flowers right there. Here's some purple colored flowers. I think this is fun because it's like a bunch of blobs that are gonna come together and create something. Right now we're just, you know, having faith in the process. We have this weird, bright green color. I am going to do a spiky plant right here. Darken it. Let me bring my palette into view for you. Let's do this rose bush. 
The cool thing about this is this neon pink background is gonna shine through the entire piece. Like I'm purposely leaving blank spots so that it can peek through. Let's take the same color So I'm just gonna layer a bunch of plants, tuck them behind each other, stuff like that. I think some weird like giant pinkish orangish leaf thing would be sweet. There we go, I like that a lot. Okay, so far this is what it looks like. It's really wild to me like trying to picture these colors being normal right now because this pink is so bright. <laughs> but I think we'll just keep going and see how it turns out. I mean, that's the joy of experimenting. We are in the awkward phase. Let's wade through it together. You know, I think we need some sort of like golden-ish, greenish cactus. I don't know, that's what I'm feeling. I'm gonna mix up a weird brownish, greenish, gold color now. You know, I did a large greenhouse painting last year to raise money for my mom's greenhouse, which by the way, they're like gonna custom build one to withstand the weather. So they're working on plans for that right now. But anyway, um, I kind of want to do another giant greenhouse painting, like on a massive canvas. That would be fun. Oh, I'm excited to go in with all these little details now. This is what really makes things fun, you know? Okay, let's do like a dark, weird greenish blue. Perfect. Just do a bunch of dots. This would also just be a fun color to have elsewhere. Okay, let's mess with these roses. I think I wanna do some sort of brick road thingy. Like maybe a really wide walking path. I don't know. Let's just figure it out together. Okay, the pink really shines through. I think that's cool. It feels brave. Let's do a whimsical tree like right here. What that means is this. Truly whimsical. I'm feeling like a weird bluish type leaf pattern up there. Lots of weird like dots. I don't know, I'm gonna feel this out. Okay, so I'm gonna do like bluish leaves all over it. Oh, this is so fun and relaxing. I feel so relaxed right now. Wow, this is getting wild. Can you tell I'm like excited for spring? Because I mean, look at this. <laughs> this side needs a whimsical weeping willow. We're just doing weird things here. <laughs> Nothing needs to be exact. That's what I love about art. You can either make something realistic and believable or do something weird like this and it's okay. We'll let that dry and then we'll do another layer of colors over top. Okay, so the fun part, I wanna do like a bunch of colorful wildflowers in the foreground. This helps this tree so much. I wasn't really sure about it for a second. Okay, I'm just gonna start Filling in these wildflowers with green. I feel like a lot of the other greenhouse scenes that I have done in the past have been more of like a tropical theme and this one feels very Midwestern. <laughs> so I'm digging it because I'm from the Midwest. I'm going to leave this area for a little bit and start working on other parts of the painting because I think I need a break from it. 
The pink is starting to disappear. I'm going to make it disappear some more right now and block some other things in because it's starting to mess with my eyes. <laughs> Let's do the grass. Ooh, maybe like a sage-ish color. Ooh, I kind of like that. We need to make this feel like grass. I just love mingling different textures with each other and playing around like this. I kind of wish this wasn't on a puzzle so I could turn it into like a greeting card or something. Some little clouds up here. I feel like I, I can't even imagine what this looks like without this pink background. <laughs> I kind of want this cloud down here. It's kind of low and I don't know, just unique. We're gonna do some hills. Okay, it feels like it's becoming a little more believable. For a while, I just kind of doubted things in my mind, even though I was trying to be positive. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like this blue is just a game changer. <laughs> it's making me feel a lot better about this now. I know this style might look like sloppy, but man, I have spent so much time on this. It's actually really hard. So now we need to start adding texture to this. Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. These clouds just need some work. It's just not sitting right with me. That's better. Texture. We have these hills in the background. They need some character. Let's do some like goldish lines. Maybe some more texture on this little bush. Oh, I like that. Okay, I want to brighten up these leaves. Okay, I'm just adding a bunch of different brush strokes to different areas for color variation and texture. It's amazing what a little bit of extra detail can do. This tree here needs some texture, for sure. I decided to do like magenta dots up in this tree. I'm not sure. It just felt right. I think we're done. Honestly, this was really hard for me because leaving such bright pink shine through this was intimidating, but I did it. I did it and I'm happy with it. And I went a little bit out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. Anyway, I'll see you soon in another video. Have a beautiful day. Bye.